that's our train. Okay, the train's just cruising at 240 odd kilometers an hour. I'm sure it can go a lot faster. <laughs> morning folks and welcome to a pretty bloody warm spring morning here in Wuhan. It's only 8 o'clock in the morning and yet I can already feel the sweat starting to form on my brow. But we're not staying in Wuhan today. We're going to jump on a train, head 100 kilometers away to a nearby city called Daiye. The Big Smelter. That's a hell of a name if ever I've heard one. Now you can imagine a city with the name of Big Smelter must have a bit of a history with smelting stuff and sure enough there's a mine an ancient mine which goes back almost 3,000 years which we're going to go take a look at we're going to jump on the subway head to the train station see if we can't get a ticket and then um yeah off to the mine Ticket office. There's a queue, but it's not too bad. Let's see how my Chinese holds up trying to get myself a train ticket. Oh folks, I got myself two tickets, the ticket there and the ticket back. I felt sorry for the girl because she had to manually input a lot of information because I'm on a passport instead of a Chinese ID card. I bought myself a coffee at the uh, convenience store next to the train station. It has the traditional kind of airport train station markup. It cost me eight instead of the usual six. So I'm gonna quickly sip on this, head on into the train station, go through security. In the meantime, I will study the core values of socialism just to make sure my head is in the right place uh, as we head over to the big smelter. All right, they're scanning their ID cards rather than their tickets to get on the train, so I'm gonna find the manual queue because I know my passport won't work. It's lucky I went the way which was attended by a staff member because sure enough, my uh, passport did not scan in the machine. She tried it and it failed. It failed miserably, so she had to do it manually. Anyway, we are about to wait for the train boarding for the train opened about 15 minutes before it's due to depart so everyone is going to mill about on platform 18. actually looks like our train is already here we're looking for carriage number four it's one of these high speed bullet trains so the overall journey is only going to take 40 odd minutes that's our train right we're on the train 40 minutes to go train's just cruising at 240 odd kilometers an hour. I'm sure it can go a lot faster than that. Uh, we've got another stop to make before we get to our destination. One thing I'll say about these class two seats is they're not like the widest seat in terms of space, but um, lots of leg room. I'm like six foot four and I got space for days. Well folks, we've arrived in Daiye. As I said, it's got a history of smelting, iron, copper, gold, mining, all that kind of good stuff. Now, this city's got an urban population of about 300,000. So as soon as we just left Wuhan, which has got more than 10 million, 11 million, um, we're kind of out in the sticks but I mean that would make it one of the biggest cities in my country and I think the entire county population is uh, is well over a million or at least over a million so um, yeah I've never been here before we might get some food and then see if we can head off to this ancient mine 
，就这个。那个通吕山离这里远不远呢？红路山。对。红路山有一点。有点远。然后这边坐山路公交车去要。山路可以到。两个半小时。几多几多？两个半小时。哦。中文说的挺好啊，<笑>我学了好几年了。好、哦，谢谢。三路的车，好、嗯啊，谢谢。那边是有一个什么古代的？哦，这个没关好。呃，那个古代的矿。嗯。像。矿遗址呗，普通矿遗址呗。我也不知道是叫。你要你要坐到普通矿遗址的三路车到铜鹿山。到那个地方，哦，然后那你就去那边坐十六路，问那个司机，哦、那个红那个红色的牌子，看到没？那边有，看到看到在那。那个后面就是十六路的起点站。十六路的。十六路。好、哦，谢谢谢谢谢谢。Alright, bus number sixteen. We're at the first stop, and we're getting off at the last stop. That's the old, the old mine. This车是到那个古代那个矿吧？对对对。呃，这里。终点站。终点站哈，就现在放这里。谢谢。下一站，终点站，普通矿区。这这个里面，这那个里面。呃，当你们在装修，不知道能不能进去，你就问一下吧。
，那就牛肉面吧。牛肉面。对对。吃这个宽的还是？就宽的，宽的，宽的。这个好热，今天。今天好热，我今天特别热，今天三十多度。算是热吧。嗯。不是我一个人热，你们明明也觉得热。我热的。哇。我觉得，我每天到春天，春天又这么热。你怎么会是我们？我老婆是中国人。我爱哥。所以怎么说呢？我们中国话说那么流通呢？会一些。还会讲的嘞。旁边的公园好玩吗？嗯。旁边的那个公园。我们那边他们玩了，玩了还好玩了，是吧？嗯。我等一下。这个时候你玩的太热了。太热了。The locals also find it hot today. It's not just me. Well, it's not a three thousand year old mine, but it is a bridge and a clock. There's some truck behind me. Which I don't think I can outrun. Which is spraying, what I can only assume is some kind of decontaminant or like sanitizer to clean the air with COVID. I genuinely don't know. Hopefully, whatever that truck is spraying is like non-toxic because it just covered me. And you, in whatever it is. Right. This park has our core values of socialism, which I've been going on about for a while, and it's even got an English translation. I think I've done a kind of half-ass job of translating it myself. Let's go get the official story. Right, folks. So the question you've all been waiting for: What are, in fact, these? 12 core values of socialism: prosperity, democracy, civilization, harmonious, maybe harmony, freedom, equality, justice, nomocracy. That one I think I would have translated as like rule of law. Patriotism, dedication, sincerity, and friendly. I think I would have gone with kindness, but yeah, those are core values of socialism. Good to know. Emergency toilets. Also good to know. Now I can see in the in the distance there that building on the side says Dalia uh, Borgwan, which is the the museum. If I can see it from here, it's got to be walking distance, and the idea of going to a nice air-conditioned museum is appealing. Although in my heart of hearts, I know it's a Monday. In all likelihood, it's going to be closed. Museum of Dalia welcomes you. But seemingly not on a Monday. Closed on a Monday. Closed on a Monday. I'm pretty impressed with how long that's been going. That's been going the whole time we've been here. So, apart from the hot weather, if you want kind of like a water spraying display, fountains, that's your place. You how? You how? How hot today? You guys feel hot today? 哎，对对,对，新西兰的，新西兰的，哎，他说要给你加个微信，我老婆可能会介意的，开玩笑的，拜拜拜。Well, folks, I've been walking around for the last kind of half an hour or so, just having a look around the town. It seems like a kind of like bustling wee town. Certainly not as big as some of the cities you'll find in China, but it's got stuff going on. If only I could find a spot to sit down and have a cold beer. Before I get the train, that would be just a perfect way to kind of cap things off. Beer. Tell me you've got beer. Oh, and that fridge is actually going. It's cold. Well, folks, that was a day in Daiye, the Great Smelter, and the weather matched to the name. She was a pretty warm one. We have sweat buckets, but in the end, we found a place to buy a cold beer and have a sit down. Ultimately, the trip was a little bit of a failure, in that we tried to visit a 3,000-year-old copper mine, only to find out that it's under major renovation. Perhaps because they were rejected by UNESCO for the site being just a little bit shit. Maybe if they get their act into gear. 
they can apply again and see if they can get that much wanted UNESCO status. On the positive side, we found out we know how to take the bullet train in China. So if you want to head to some other surrounding cities around Hubei province, we can do that easily enough. I'm still not convinced we're not going to call this one off, but the downstairs from this place is absolutely flooded. 